really didn't know how to to use these books. I never had anybody actually sit down and tell me how to use the book. So you had to kind of learn on your own, learning. And so, and I found that um, learning on your own is a real good way to learn, and then especially if you can assist it with getting a teacher. So um, this is a book on flowers. And so I, I leafed through it, you know, and there were lots of nice flowers in here. and. Um, what I settled on was this one because I'm a very yes, yes. passionate about uh, abstracts and design and the light dark pattern just attracts me and I like that sort of thing and it's very um, and so uh, I find it more attractive so I exaggerate the curves I kind of like women right I and the bottom of the petal is about that high and I can see the stem is over here, and it goes up to there. So even though I'm drawing from the side, I, I can kind of line. And then the petal comes over here, and the petal comes over here on the other side of the stem. And so now I'm pretty much in the ballpark with this. Okay, here's the tip of a petal. Goes like that. Comes out a little bit like that. Goes in. There's a stamen right here. There's a, the throat of the flower. Uh, remember Alice in Wonderland by Walt Disney and the scene where Alice is in the garden and the flowers are all singing? I think I found that to be one of my favorite parts of that movie. It was the Phil show and, and he would start the show with, I want you to be excited about your life. Well. I try to tell my sisters, I want you to get excited about your picture, you know, and that way, you know, you're going to go after an hour or two hours, you're going to feel really good. Uh, it doesn't have to hang in the Metropolitan, you know, it's just, and a little bit of red, and I'm going to get a bluish pink. All right, so put a little more blue in it. And the thing about mixing color is that um, when you're mixing a light color, you start with the l light color and add the darker color to it very slowly, otherwise it gets really dark on you fast. Um, I'm going to need some green other colors into it and get like nice soft effects. And I love that, doing that, I really, one of my favorite things in painting is so there's a, Bob and I have studied the same people and there's a wonderful artist out in Denver and he has a video and he calls it Nuts and Bolts and what he's talking about is that I did it. Um, so the darks, so I keep looking down here because generally I paint off of this, but I wanted you to see better. And this is what I've done a little too much, uh, that middle spirits. Do I have any more down? So, so that's acrylic with mineral spirit. No, no, this is oil paint. Oh, I, well, I thought it looked like oil paint, but then they said you were having acrylics, and I thought oh. I have heard of the mineral spirit. No, no, I would never do that. So adding yellow with the green and just a touch of the complement. To dull it down. Now I didn't make any purple. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll put my yellow red, my orange, my red orange, my red violet, my violet, my blue violet, my blue green, my yellow green, and then those puddles are there and I can just grab them. I need white. Tiny, tiny bit. Look how it's, how much, okay now let's see what it is. So each time I do that, I'm going to have to probably clean my brush, grab a little white, and and it also gives the effect that the flower is sticking out. <laughs> but I need more white, and I'll just. You know, I hit it with the brush, 
smooth it down some and keep on going. This will help speed things up. I don't know what the time frame is on ventilation system in here. So, so you would Please. prefer acrylics. Yeah. Yeah. And I work with the girls. I have nothing in here. So I, I prefer an oil <laughs> after seeing this. Well, the, the acrylic is uh, I'm doing now, uh, but it just requires a little more effort. So now I'm going to come in here, try to draw some of that. So I'm trying to soften some of the edges. Is on that. Now they mentioned something. Do you know that there are times when I want to mat that petal right there, and I could try to put in. So I scrape some of the paint away, mm -hmm. you know, try to get it down in there. It gives that a little more form to the flower. Mm -hmm. I see blue, put a little edge on things. Their stem comes in front of that leaf. 